everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy, and welcome to day eight of the Learn SketchUp tutorial series. Today we're going to be drawing lines on a curved surface, and this was a question that I had in the comments of one of the other videos, and so I'm just going to answer it for you today. So go to your circle tool, and we're just going to, what they're doing is, is they're, they have a circular house and they want to draw windows. They want to build windows within that curved surface. So I'm just going to pull this out let's just say 100 feet doesn't really matter how far you have it pulled out and let's give it it has enough surfaces we'll just pull this up for now just pull it up another what 30 feet okay so this looks like kind of the spaceship of the apple the apple headquarters and what they want to do is they want to put windows on the surface. So how we can do that, because if you have just a line or a curve right here, it's not really, you know, you can't really draw a very good curve on here. So how you do it is, what you do is you use your push tool, and that's this one right here. I used to use A because that's my shortcut. Now, I'll put a link to my shortcut key combos because I have it set up so that my hand can reach all of my common keys. Plus I created mnemonics. So it makes it really easy to memorize what key does what. Like for A, I have that as push-pull because I'm adding something. So A for add. Things like X will delete something out. E is my eraser. So all these things I have set up, shift R's, rectangles, it just makes sense. Anyways, so check that link out and it'll take you to my post I wrote uh, about setting those up. So we're gonna bring this down maybe 10 feet here. It doesn't really matter. We're just trying to show you how to do this. Uh, so again, push pull this. Oh, sorry. What I missed was that you need to, when you're push pulling this, hit control, and then it, what it does is it creates a new surface plane. So it doesn't take away from the original, and it brings down. We're going to bring this down. Actually, in order to measure this, how far we want this window to go, we just need to hide this. So I just use H for hide as my shortcut keys. Again, go ahead and uh, <laughs> go to that link. You can also just right click and hit hide there. So now we have this surface and we're gonna push pull that as well. And we're gonna make this a four foot window. So well, let's do five feet. So I'll drop it 60 inches right there. Okay, and then we can just unhide that for now. And now we can draw right up in there and right there. Okay, so now what we can do is we can actually just erase those lines and then delete that out. And you can see that we have a cut right in our curved surface. And again, we can have this be a lot more prevalent. So if we were to do it like that, bring it up just a little bit, we'll have it be a much more steeper curve here. Unhide that. Okay, and then there you go. That's the cut that you need. Then as always, you can just get rid of those planes when you don't need them. Also get rid of that and that. I should also point out that you don't need to use the push-pull tool. You can actually just use the move tool by clicking the move tool or M in my case, and then just dragging that single line. So you select the single line, then you bring it down and it'll give you that edge right there. So if you come down here, the reason that I use the push-pull is because it creates a new surface when we're creating. So let's say we want to create trim on this window. I'd have to come down and you'll see that it didn't create this new surface right here. So if you put into, if you're going, you have to just pre-think this, but you have to know that you're going to have to pull this up on the, along this surface right here. So it's four inches here and then bring that there. This is how you'd get the trim on a window, let's say. And then that's how you can get that surface right there with that single line. But with me, I, I typically do uh, I typically do the push pull and then I just delete that out and then I'll go four inches down just like that. So there's, there's several ways you can do it and ultimately it just comes down to preference. Let's see if I were to create one here. Okay. And our glass pane can be right here. If we go right here, just change that, click that there. And you can see that that's how we get that. Hey everybody, it's Jake, and I hope that you enjoyed this SketchUp tutorial series. Now you've learned a 
ton already and you've definitely learned enough to go and make some awesome things within SketchUp. Now, the projects that I showed you at the beginning, uh, everything that I have did in those projects, you've learned how to do with these tools. So, thank you for watching and if you really feel that you've gotten the value out of it, then please consider donating the $10. And uh, I hope to see you guys another time. I'll upload some more videos when SketchUp comes out with some more things. Oh, you probably notice down in the comments that SketchUp has shared these videos with their uh, on their social networks. So that was pretty cool. Uh, I guess they, they approve of my message. But uh, again, thanks for watching. And thank you for those who have donated and those that are about to. Peace.